Well, guess what time it is? <laughs> it's time for me to be out of breath. Just had the tractor back here, and we got the old truck pulled from out in front of that tree. Gonna put this last tire on it, and lo and behold, I think these drums here are locked up tight because they did not turn at all when we pulled it out, and it was in neutral. So, I'm gonna get this other tire on, and then figure out what I'm gonna do next. Well, things have changed a little bit. Now, I'm sure he probably said it before, I just didn't hear him, but he wants the engine, the transmission, and the transfer case, which kinda sucks, but it kinda don't suck, because that means that will be just a bunch of more parts I don't have to worry about going through. Because then, if I get a motor and transmission, I can just go ahead and make it straight two-wheel drive. I won't have to mess with all this stuff until I get around to it at a more convenient time, which will be totally cool. I don't mind at all. So I got a little bit of PB blaster, and I'm going to start soaking uh, these rear drums some more. Hopefully, I can get them freed up. And this is PB blaster, as you all know. The best unsticker fluid ever made. And then I'm also going to disconnect that drive shaft. I'm thinking maybe that 203 drive or transfer case, it's a chain drive. The 205s were a gear drive. Maybe the chain's rusted up. You know, who knows? It's worth a shot. Also, it's still got the rubber plugs down here on the drums. Maybe I can get a screwdriver in there and back those pads off and uh, get this thing wheeling again, freewheeling. Well, back up here at the old crappy Ford truck. And, uh, yeah, I cannot get these wheels to turn for nothing. I've tried to use the star adjuster on the back to back the shoes off. But when I take my little screwdriver in this back little adjustment hole, I mean, there's just gobs and gobs of greasy, grimy, rusty crap in there. And I'm sure everything in here is just totally not the way it should. Ugh, damn spiders. Bastards everywhere. Don't you know it's too cold to be outside? You ain't got to worry about it now. Anyway, so I really don't know what else to do other than try to take this damn axle out and then try to get the brake drums off of that away. I wouldn't be surprised if a guy just breaks the shit out of these drums. <laughs> just totally breaks them in half because I've been beating on them with my little sledge, my BFH, so damn much. But you know, I want to give up, but I keep hearing the my inner Derek, my inner Vice Grip Garage guy <laughs> just talking away. Wonder what Charlie Pride's doing. So I'm gonna try to take his damn thing. I know this is gonna suck worse and then let me get these bolts out. If they even come out. I might have to I, I don't know. You know, one of these days, I might take a couple dollars and at least buy a cheap Harbor Freight cordless impact. He's actually his eyes clean, he's done it there. But no, I've got to use tools that my dad had in the 60s when he was in the Air Force that are totally stripped out. Just totally wore out. Somebody said I can send these back to Craftsman and get them replaced, but I'm scared to because we all know Craftsman doesn't make stuff like they used to. Craftsman used to be the go-to brand, man. Now I feel it's probably made in China just like everything else. Oh yeah. Gotta make sure I hold my thumb on that so it works. This is fun. You know, I was really expecting this to be a bastard to get out, but as soon as I got that last nut, she just popped right off. Okay, I will take that all day. Most definitely. I'm gonna need two hands and a bunch of rags for this job. Ugh. Let me know if you all see anything wrong with this axle. Do you see anything? I mean, I don't, I mean, it looks perfectly fine. <laughs> that is some very large 
rusty chunks on that axle shaft. Up here, the splines look good. Either one, there's a lot of water it got in that rear end and made a lot of rust, or that rear end is totally effed, in my unprofessional opinion. But we shall see. Yay. So it looks like a guy needs, I think it's an axle nut socket. I might have one. Uh. Man, I don't think it's probably ever been changed. But let's run down the house and see if I can't find something. I might have to improvise. Well, the sun's going down. I got about uh, a couple hours left. I got, I used a screwdriver and got the uh, axle nut off in that first bearing out. And I uh, went and got a bigger sledgehammer. And I broke my brake drum in three different places kind of beating on it that wasn't my sole intention and then i tried to take the nuts off the back side here where that plate's mounted broke a socket and cracked another one uh, yeah I'm, I'm done with that uh, so <sighs> i've got this thing broke apart far enough now where i can see the brake shoe and uh this is about the only other chance i got is uh maybe if i can get enough what my dad used to call petrolatum <laughs> PB blaster down in here maybe and uh, I don't know maybe it'll do something maybe I'll have some progress the next time I get out here who knows shit I'm hitting that lip I ain't hitting the brake shoe but I don't know I'm one thing I'm going to have to buy two new brake shoes all new brake drums um, rear brake hardware Two new bearings and probably new bearings and races for the drum it's awesome yes really awesome i just i should have known better <laughs> should have known better i mean I've, i got this <laughs> it's moving it's you know i'm prying something i'm doing something damn it it makes me feel good it reminds me of my dad so bad anytime we'd be working on something I'd be in one of these things trying to get some kind of progress. And he's like, damn it, would you quit? You ain't doing nothing but jacking that thing off. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> but by God, it feels good. I'm doing something, damn it. You are going to come off, you no good son of a... Yeah, that... <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get the hell off. When all this fails, jack it off. And get you a big ass hammer and do some hammer time. Goodness. I'd say it's a little bit nasty. Look at the bugs. Is living inside this brake drum. Holy crap. Y'all want to go find a new damn home now. There you go. So I, I know what I'll do is I'll get this stuff off. And uh, when I get it off, I'll just reinstall this old brake drum. And it will row just fine now i just gotta do the other one i probably won't be able to get to the other side till thursday i got some doctor stuff to do so good news good news another day back here at the old four pick em up truck i got my brake drum tools and now i'm gonna try to take all this crap off should be fun I'm gonna have to use two hands, so I'll catch y'all in a second. And that was a big pain in the ass. So I left the e-brake gadgetry and stuff in place and that little wheel cylinder. Cause like I said, I just need this thing to roll. And now I gotta go beat off this damn thing on the other side. Okay, now I'm over here on the drinker side, pulling out this axle. Try to be easy. 
Yes, more rust, more rust. There we go. So, bam, take this bearing, take this nut off, take the little retaining washer off, and then I should be able to pull this hub. Fun. Now, let's get some lubrication in there on that old rusted up brake pad. Seems like it worked pretty good last time. Need to break it down here so I can get to it. There we go. A little easy access. Let me adjust my sprayer thing. Come on now. You know you love it. You know you love it. I'm gonna break some more of that off. Now we're back to doing the jack off. Oh yeah, got a little movement. It's awful tight up here. What was cool about that last one is I could actually see part of the brake shoe inside when I pried it apart. Well, this one here, it looks like, I don't know if I can get it back apart again. It looks like both shoes are rusted the drum itself so I can't beat on the shoe and push them down hmm. so this one might be a little bit more of a bugger hammer time hammer time yeah that's what I'm resorting to <laughs> when all this fails beat the ever-living shit out of it and here we go Voila. Uh, beat it good. See how the shoes are just locked up on the drums? These drums probably could have been saved, but not like that. Whew. Here we go. That is, wow, okay. I even knocked out the uh, thingy, whatever you call that. The bearing plugger upper bushing, maybe? Is that what they call that? Oh well. Now we have two wheels to roll. Don't worry about the noise. I really, I guess it's the uh, emergency brake lever that's in there, it's rubbing after I beat the living crap out of this drum. You don't need a drum without any holes. <laughs> well, there we go, folks. Well, this greasy old whore rolls now. She almost rolled right back down to where she came from. <laughs> oh man, one little step at a time. She'll come along. Now, the next step is getting her up there and then I can take off the hood, inner fenders, and start getting rid of this drivetrain. The next step. So folks, I hope y'all like this video. Like and subscribe. If you would check out my merch, uh, check out my Amazon links, leave comments below. And if you'd like, check out some other videos right up here.